Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can slowly start the train so it looks more realistic like this. Also we will add up some wheel animations and I will show you how you can slowly stop the train as well. Great! So let's go! First of all this is the train of the last tutorial of course link is in the description. So let's open this up. We have this static mesh as you can see with an audio and then floating pawn movement. So let's add up some wheels here. In this case there are just static meshes as you can see. Of course link is in the description. So let's put them right here. I skipped the process so I just placed four wheels in this case. As you can see be sure that you have the right prevo point. So when you rotate it you can see it looks pretty good. And then we open up the event graph. We have the tick event from the last tutorial and we just select all wheels, put them inside the event graph here. Also we will delete the speed variable and keep this to 1.0 like that. And then we go from the wheels and say add local rotation and connect just all wheels that we have. If we have more, of course, you could connect all wheels of your train. Then we say right click, split structure pin. We take out the floating pawn movement, get the max speed, this one here. Then we divide it by, in my case, 150. You can play around with this value here. And then we just connect it with the pitch here. And when we now hit play, you can see we have the train with the wheel animations. Now we want to start and stop the train. For this let's go back to the train blueprint here and create two more functions. So add custom event. The first one will be speed up and the second one will be slow down. Of course you can name it whatever you want. Then we go from the speed up and say add timeline and let's call this start. Open this up as well. We add a flow track here. Let's call this start as well. Then we say right click, add a key, put this time to zero and the value zero. Add another key, put this time to five. And in my case, 1200. When you click on these buttons here, you can see the curve. And then we can close this one. The reason why I choose 1200 is when we open up the details of the floating pawn movement, you can see that the current max speed is 1200. That's a default value. Of course, you can change it. Let's put this on startup to zero here. As well, we put the stop boolean to true so that the train is just standing there when we start the game. Then we connect the slow down to the reverse as well. We take out the floating pawn movement and want to set the max speed. We want to update it and set the start to the max speed. Then we want to check if we are less equal than zero. And then we just want to set the stop boolean to the result. So if we are on zero of the max speed, the stop will be true and otherwise it will be false. And now we can call the functions whenever you want. So just for example, let's choose the begin play event with a little delay of let's say five seconds. And then we want to speed up like a train station that's waiting for five seconds on the train station after a drive of let's say seven seconds, we will just slow down and came to stop. Compile and save this. Let's see if this works. We hit play. The train is waiting there. We get in. The train is slowly driving forward until it reaches max speed. And after seven seconds it slows down and came to stop. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions please let me know and yeah, goodbye.